Hello everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, picking a specialty and I get lots of emails from uh, students who inquire about um, how I pick my specialty and um, how they can go about uh, picking their specialty. Um, I didn't decide on orthopedics until the end of my uh, third year, close to my fourth year. I was uh, interested in ENT and also um, urology at, at one point. And I ultimately chose uh, orthopedics because I love working with my hands. I love the constructive part of orthopedics. Uh, we patient comes in with a fracture. We put a lot of the, uh, the the bones in a lot of different pieces, and we have to kind of figure out how to put it back together, kind of like a uh, puzzle. And I kind of like that. And I like the uh, tools that we use in the operating rooms: drill, saws, hammers, uh, screws, nails, and also the people. <clears throat> To uh, pick your uh, specialty, I think you have to find out what you're passionate about. Um, I kind of break it down in two different pathways, either a pathway of uh, surgical or medical. So if you uh, like to do more thinking, um, nephrology, internal medicine, uh, radiology, uh, those might be specialties for you. But if you love working with your hands, um, I think in surgery, either general surgery, ENT, urology, uh, surgical subspecialties, I think would probably be best for you. Uh, with me, I love working with my hands, like I said, so and I knew surgery was uh, definitely a uh, something that I was considering, and um, I chose it um, kind of close to my fourth year. I think it, to do well, to get into your specialty, you need to do well on um, your first and second year uh, courses. Uh, also, uh, step one, you have to do well in step one. That's probably most important. But I think overall, what's, uh, what can probably get you into a door, even if you have a low step one score, is to do well on your weight rotations. I did four weight rotations. I rotated at Baylor in Houston, Northwestern in Chicago, and also uh, UT San Antonio, uh, along with my home program in Georgetown in D.C. And I think uh, even most programs will probably agree with me when, they, when I say this, that a program would most likely accept an applicant with a uh, substandard uh, step one score who works their butt off, who's a hard worker, gets along with everyone, and um, I think a program will consider you um, if you do have a low step one score, but you're a hard worker. But I think you really have to work really hard when you get to that rotation and, and um, kind of uh, meet people and network, so, um, you know, to get into it get your foot in the door um, but to pick your specialty I, I would probably say um, find something you're passionate about don't try to pick a specialty based off oh it's a short residency it's three years long EM, emergency medicine three years long every residency that you're going to go into is going to be hard the hours are long so try to think something long term 20 30 years down the line what will make me happy um, what can I see myself doing 20 years from now and that's how I came upon uh, orthopedics you also have to consider pay. Um, some specialties like pediatrics are, uh, probably don't get paid as much. Other specialties such as neurosurgery or orthopedic surgery, you can um, get a job right out of residency making six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars a year. So uh, you have to consider pay. And also uh, take into consideration prestige. Um, if you want something very prestigious, I wouldn't do it just for the prestige, but uh, that's also something that you have to consider. So four things that I would probably recommend when picking your specialty, something you're passionate about, prestige, money, and something that ultimately makes you happy and uh, at the end of the day, after long days of work, you'll go home and uh, you'll still be uh, satisfied and, and be happy with uh, the choice that you made. Good luck guys and uh, contact me at uh, overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com for any further questions or you can visit my website, antoniowebmd.com. See you next time.